Good morning! Welcome to Chapter 2, Lesson 4, or this is all about higher order derivatives. So for this lesson, at the end, you must have known how to solve higher order derivative of a function. Now, what are higher order derivative or what is higher order differentiation? So when we say higher order differentiation, this is the process of getting the derivative of a function successively. So these are the second derivative or higher, wherein the derivative is the derivative of the first, the second, and so on. So the first derivative is symbolized by f prime of x. That means you get the derivative of the given function. The second derivative is symbolized by f double prime x, okay, or you can see here these two symbols. So the second derivative is solved by getting the derivative of the first derivative. Next, the third derivative is symbolized by this one. So you can get the third derivative by taking the derivative of the second derivative. Okay, next we have the fourth one symbolized by this this one so this means that you get the derivative of the third derivative and so on okay so that means for you to get the higher order derivatives you must get the derivative successively or continuously so we have here some examples to clarify our point so example number one we're going to determine the second derivative of the function f of x equals 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 6x plus 2. Okay, so first, we need to get or we need to find the first derivative. Okay, so take note, this is our function. Okay, so if, you're, if you forgot how to get the derivatives, you can review our uh, past lesson which is all about derivative, okay? So, uh, you can go to Chapter 2, Lesson 1, up to Chapter 2, Lesson 2. Okay, so, the derivative here is, we have 3 times 3, x, then subtract 1 from our existing exponent, minus derivative of 2x squared is 2 times 2, x raised to 2 minus 1 minus derivative of 6x, that's 6 times 1, plus the derivative of 2 is 0. Then we simplify. So 3 times 3, that's 9. x raised to 3 minus 1, that's x squared. Minus 2 times 2, that's 4. x raised to 2 minus 1 is x raised to 1, or that's simply x. Minus 6 times 1, that will give you 6. So no need to write plus 0 anymore. So our first derivative is 9x squared minus 4x minus 6. But we will not stop there. So remember, we're looking for the second derivative of the function. That means we still need to continue. So to get the second derivative, we need to get the derivative of the first derivative. So we get the derivative of 9x squared minus 4x minus 6. So that's 9 times 2, x raised to 2 minus 1, minus derivative of 4x, that's 4 times 1, minus derivative of 6, that's 0. So simplify, that will give you 9 times 2, that's 18, x raised to 2 minus 1, that's x raised to 1, or simply x, minus 4 times 1, that's 4, no need to write the minus 0. Or, you can simply say that the second derivative is 18x minus 4. Okay? Next, we have example number 2. So, for example number 2, we're going to determine the third derivative of the function x raised to 5 minus 4x raised to 4 plus x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 27. So, to get that, First, we need to find the first derivative of the function. So again, we have here our function. Then, to get the derivative of that, we have 5x raised to 5 minus 1. 
that's the derivative of x raised to 5, minus derivative of 4x raised to 4, that's 4 times 4, x raised to 4 and minus 1, plus derivative of x cubed, that's 3, x raised to 3 minus 1, plus derivative of 2x squared, that's 2 times 2, x raised to 2 minus 1, minus a derivative of x, that's 1, minus a derivative of 27, that's 0. Then we simplify. So this will be 5x raised to 4 minus 4 times 4, that's 16. x raised to 4 minus 1, that's x cubed. So we have plus 3x raised to 3 minus 1, that's 3x squared, plus 4 times 4, or 2 times 2, that's 4 x raised to 2 minus 1, that's x raised to 1, or simply x minus 1. Or, our first derivative is 5x raised to 4 minus 16x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x minus 1. Next, so again, we need to find the third derivative. So to arrive at that, we still need to find the second derivative. So to find the second derivative, we take the derivative of the first derivative. So, get the derivative of 5x raised to 4 minus 16x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x minus 1. Again, that's 5 times 4, x 4 minus 1 minus 16 times 3, x raised to 3 minus 1 plus 3 times 2, x raised to 2 minus 1 plus 4 times 1, because the derivative of x is 1, minus derivative of 1, that's 0. Okay, so simplify. 5 times 4, that's 20. x raised to 4 minus 1, that's x cubed, minus 16 times 3, that's 48. x raised to 3 minus 1, that's x squared, plus 3 times 2, that's 6. x raised to 2 minus 1, that's x raised to 1, or simply x, plus 4 times 1, that's 4. So our second derivative is 20x cubed minus 48x squared plus 6x plus 4. Okay, again, we need to find the third derivative, so we still need to continue getting the derivative by taking the derivative of the second derivative. So the third derivative is 20 times 3 x raised to raised to 3 minus 1 minus 48 times 2 x raised to 2 minus 1 plus 6 times the derivative of x that's 1 plus derivative of 4 is 0 so simplify that's 20 times 3 that will give you 60 x raised to 3 minus 1 that's x squared minus 48 times 2 that's 96 x raised to 2 minus 1 is equal to x raised to 1, or simply x, plus 6 times 1, that will give you 6. Or, our third derivative is 60x squared minus 96x plus 6. Okay, let's have the last example. This time, we're going to use our trigonometric functions. So, we're going to determine the fourth derivative of f of x equals sine x. So, remember, so we've learned the derivative of trigonometric functions in our chapter 2, lesson 2. So, if you want to go back to that, okay, you could go back to that video. Okay, so, meanwhile, we have here on the right side of your, the screen, Okay, these are the given derivatives of the trigonometric function. Okay, so solution, we have the function is f of x equals sine x. So to get the first derivative, so we get the derivative of sine x. And derivative of sine x is cosine x. So that's our f prime or the first derivative. To get the second derivative, we need to get the derivative of cosine x. So the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. That means our second derivative is negative sine x because that is the derivative of cosine x. Next, 
The third derivative is we need to get the derivative of negative sine x. So that's negative 1 times derivative of sine x is cosine x. So that's negative 1 times cosine x that will give you negative cosine x. And lastly, to get the derivative or the fourth derivative, so we take the derivative of negative cosine x. So that's negative 1 times derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So negative 1 times negative sine x, that will give you sine x. So the fourth derivative of f of x equals sine x is sine x. Okay, so that's all for today. See you in our next lesson. Bye!